Dear colleagues, being highly inspired by Dr. Pankaj Rupalia, this is my sixth FECO surgery with my non-dominant left hand. In this case, I have done capsulorexis with ureter forceps, hydrodissection, holding the FECO handset and lot of other maneuvers with my non-dominant left hand. By this time, I have made the main incision and this is the side port on the left side of the main incision. These two things have been done with my left hand. Now, this is, I'm going to stain the capsule, uh, anterior capsule with tripant blue dye so that I can do capsulorexis. I can see the capsule clearly and I do the capsulorexis easily. As you will see that it will appear like a trainee and doing a uh, FECO surgery and it is true just I am training my non-dominant hand to do the surgery to as when I was in Shankarnatala Chennai um, our teachers told me that you must hold the lens with your left hand half of the examination of the retina has to be done holding the 20 adapter lens with your left hand and the colleagues it is possible it is highly possible to train our non-dominant hand and sometimes in some cases it will be very helpful and now this is capsular axis with my left hand I have raised a flap holding the flap with ureter forceps in this case I am going clockwise I found that with my left hand it is easier to go clockwise and with my right hand I find it easier to go anti-clockwise so, with my left hand, I am doing the rexis with clockwise movement and it has been a fairly round rexis. Now, hydrodissection. Hydrodissection is a little bit tricky with my left hand, but still I am, I am doing it gently, cautiously. Whenever we train our muscles to do something, uh, initially we fumble, we do it consciously and after some time we can do it unconsciously. That is called unconscious competence. And to go to that level, I will take a lot of time, but it is possible. Now, this plastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now I am ready to go into the anterior chamber with the FECO handset in my left hand. The incision has been posterior limbal. I go with bevel down. Now I sculpt a little bit of superficial lens matter. Now I turn the handpiece and make its bevel up. Now I am trying direct job in this case. Embed into the nucleus but I could not chop with my left hand. So I think 
there is some problem i was at a very superficial level so i held it again and this time i became successful the small nuclear fragment that became free was emulsified and taken out this is the left eye of the patient my very good friend dr pankaj rupalia who is a consultant for the last two decades in rotary narayan netrala kolkata is doing surgery of left eye with left hand and that of right eye with his right hand he is a right handed person he is not ambidextrous i am not ambidextrous i am just training my left hand to do these maneuvers you can see that it is almost over in this case the feco power of 60% flow rate 45 vacuum 450 this is the last nuclear fragment and i am just trying to remove it it tumbles and it comes out and this is the last portion of epinucleus yes i have taken longer time than my right hand but i have kept my senses awake not to cause any harm to the patient the viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and cortical clean up is done using bimanual my left hand is already trained for this part of the surgery so this is not difficult that's it cortical clean up is done in this case it has taken very short time for cortical clean up now i inject viscoelastic substance and inject the lens with my left hand but i can see that a cotton fiber has gone and being entangled with the leading haptic so what do i do first i implant the lens in the back using a sinski hook now i take the capsular excess forceps in my left hand and hold this cotton fiber and take it out that's it now this plastic substance is cleaned out thoroughly we irrigating the this plastic substance from behind the lens now i come in front of the lens irrigate this area nicely now i take bimanual irrigation aspiration probes and aspirate the viscoelastic substance aspms in this case nicely i do this part of the surgery very religiously so that patient doesn't get any rise of intraocular pressure because of the remaining viscoelastic substance this is the last final wash the colics it is very much possible and your confidence level will go off 
for the seniors who are doing surgeries for more than one decade, they can definitely practice this surgery with non-dominant hand. I am sure your confidence level will go a level to a higher level. Thank you very much for watching.